identity crisis, being a black immigrant, Muslim and living in America. I was known just by my name and my gender, not by the color of my skin or race or immigrant status. But now I'm known as a black immigrant and a Muslim in America. Following my arrival in the US, many identities came to define me. Just on the first day at JFK Airport in New York, I had to take boxes identifying myself as black, immigrant, or refugee. Dang, you stripped off your identity and wrapped up in a categorized system that tries to define you and determine your destiny. Color is a big deal in America. It determines how people see you and it generalizes about you and your life. Religion is a big deal in America. If you are a Muslim in America, your loyalty is questionable. When Obama was running for president, he repeatedly said, I am not a Muslim, I am not a Muslim, and I am not a Muslim. Being a Muslim in America raises the question of loyalty. Are you with us or with them? Like Bush said, you are either with us or against us. Your blackness grants you almost the ticket to hell, known as American jail, where many young blacks reside in a small cell. It builds invisible walls around you that scares hell out of people and raises question where you fit in American society like a like Indian caste system. Wait a minute, the story is not over. Your blackness justifies discrimination and reinforces invisible segregation that runs along racial lines. It plays a significant role in your life and raises self-consciousness. Being a black is not a crime. Being immigrant is not a crime. Being Muslim is not a crime. But these identities are misunderstood and misinterpreted. And I'm trapped in these identities forever. When I was volunteering for Obama's election, I knocked a stranger's door and was confronted by a man who told me that America is not ready for black president. I was shocked. I never thought that color, is, color of a skin becomes a problem, but I'm wrong. I never thought my religion is a problem, but I'm wrong. I never thought my immigrant status is a problem, but I'm wrong. The combination of invisible and visible identities constitute my life in America. I am who I am. Leave me alone or love me as I am.